Hey, my name is Garrett and welcome to episode 51 of Attila's Cup. I'm making a game called Space Prevention Force, a tycoon game where you build, research, and market a lively business to save the most alien lives. This is a devlog of the development of my game, my karate training, and my career as a game developer. Commander, are we ready to go? Yes, sir. Let's have some fun. Update one. Hair hair. I fixed some bugs and sprite issues with the worker hair that I started implementing last week. The way I'm doing it and setting it up is based on the order of sprites in the hierarchy and just stuff was messed around with that so I needed to fix that. There is still a slight problem with that the hairstyle is selected upon worker placement so the worker highlight doesn't necessarily display the correct sprite so I gotta fix that eventually too. But with this demo coming up that's really not the uh, the main thing I'm looking at to fix right now, uh, there is much more important stuff to look at. Training. I didn't end up going to Sky Zone this week, but I ended up trying jackknives, and jackknives are essentially adding on a hook to a 540, and to my surprise, kind of got it. And my singing training is growing great as well. I'm holding out for a hero. I need a hero! I'm holding out for a hero till the end of the night! Update 2. Demo prep. Yeah, this is definitely the biggest thing I focus on this week. First things first, I wanted to make sure the game ran smoothly, not just FPS wise, but made sure the menu transitions worked well and that you can actually play the game successfully. It may sound kind of juvenile to say that, but whenever, at least personally, when I'm working with my game builds, I don't necessarily care too much about the end experience until, well, pretty much the last possible moment, <laughs> but because I'm releasing the demo today, uh, I needed to make sure that the game functioned well. I also added some help for the player in terms of hints in the settings menu and also a little tutorial menu to play at the start. Also, I added a few things to help with feedback, including links to the Discord and some screenshot control. Thank you to everyone who left advice on demo releases in last week's devlog. I implemented a Unity integration to send crash reports directly to my Discord and also added automatic screenshots. Thank you to Sam. Uh, also, as Jonas and other people highlighted uh, that I should take out debug controls, I did that, so you can't cheat. I don't think. I hope not. If I, if you can, please let me know. <laughs> Product overview. I have spent 565 minutes on art, 2,345 minutes on programming, 60 minutes on an animation, 10 minutes on sound, and 30 minutes on video up until this point. And here is a timeline of the development cycle of Space Prevention Force. Update 3. Discord. Yes, I finally did it. The Space Prevention Force Discord is now live. Now, at the start, it's not going to be the greatest thing because I've never ran a Discord before. I have learned a lot from a lot of you guys. Um, you have some great servers and I'm trying to implement little bits of each one that I really like. Uh, it will continually improve. But for right now, it is there. It does have some stuff and I want to interact with it as much as possible. So if you'd like, I will have links in the description so you can join. Question. How do you feel about Cyberpunk 2077 being pushed back to release in September? I was a little bummed to hear about it when I first heard, uh, but as long as we get a good game, then I'll be okay with it. Thank you all for watching. I want you to know that I love you all. I care for you and I am there for you. My Discord messages will always be open if you need anything at all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you in the next devlog. Bye everyone.